Hello, everybody. So this is a, um, a video to explain to you what I am expecting uh, from your course project. Your course project is what we call the signature assignment for this course, and it is worth um, a significant amount of your, uh, your grade. So let me explain what it is, and uh, I will be sharing a, um, a canvas shell as usual, and uh, I will uh, just uh, give you some details about this course project. All right, so let's do it. Okay, so when you go to your Math 100 Canvas shell, uh, of course the shell you know, has uh, many modules. Each of these blocks is called the module. So you have a lesson 20 module and a, a test three module. And uh, following the test three module is our module four course project, okay? And I have four items uh, in the uh, course project module. And this is what you're seeing right here. Um, you should click on this project description because this is where you will find uh, the description for the description for the uh, entire project. Okay, uh, let me just explain what the other things are here. Uh, the second item is project samples, and so this is where uh, I have a few sample projects for you to look at. You know, in case you're wondering, like, what should it uh, look like? All right. And um, as I will explain in just a second, your project consists of two parts, written part and the oral presentation part. Uh, and these are the places, these are the portals where you would be um, uploading your uh, essay here. You know, uh, basically you're uploading and submitting your essay and then your uh, presentation should be um, uploaded here. All right, so let's go and click on this course, uh, the, the course project description and uh, you'll see more details, okay? So let's take a look at what we have. All right, so at the beginning, uh, I should uh, uh, mention that the, uh, the two parts required are, uh, number one, this essay, which is two to three pages, double-spaced um, from a, a topic chosen, uh, on the topic chosen from the following three categories or options. And then the second part is a two to three minute brief oral presentation to be recorded and uploaded to Canvas. All right, the three options for your topic are as follows. Option one, analyzing data-based statistical study. Number two, uh, presenting a mathematical application or topic in any field. And uh, typically this is done for things that you are interested in. For instance, an art or film or music or uh, often it's artistic uh, expression with um, mathematical content. Uh, and then option three is to summarize the life of a mathematician. Uh, this will be a biographical sketch on a mathematician. All right, I will go through these options one by one. Um, and then some examples and more details of these options are um, on the, in the following pages. Okay, now here's something very important. Okay, once you decide on the option and the topic um, that you want to uh, pursue, uh, you must email me and get my approval. All right, so in other words, don't get started on all your work before you get my approval for the topic, because I may say, well, that's not appropriate, or I may say that seems really, really difficult, okay? Um, or maybe it's too controversial for a, a class like this or something. Right? So make sure you get my approval first. Now, this is a major assignment. It's worth 50 points. Uh, 35 of those points are for the written essay, and then 15 points are for the oral presentation portion. Okay, and the entire um, assignment, 50 point assignment is worth 10% of your overall semester grade. Okay, all right, now let's go through the details. Uh, it can be an individual project. I know you have lots of questions and if you have any questions or concerns, please write me and I'll try to explain. I, I, it could be something you can do by yourself or you can do it with one other person so that it'll be a two, jo a two person joint project. I will not let you do this with more than uh, uh, three people. In other words, uh, it's either you or you and one more person, not three or four or more people doing the same project together. If it is a joint project, okay, I ask that uh, you, both students will make a um, significant contribution. Now, you know what that means, right? Sometimes when you have a group project, some in the group will do like everything while the others don't do anything. And so I try to avoid it. And that's another reason I don't want to have this as a, uh, a group project with three or more people. 
right? So make sure it's one or two persons doing the project. Each individual or group must turn in a brief formal paper, two to three page, uh, pages long, double spaced. And uh, you can use any, uh, any standard style as long as it's consistent and coherent, All right? Um, each individual, oh yeah, please cite your sources. That's a pretty important thing as well, okay? Uh, don't say the site, uh, the I am citing internet, okay? Because the internet is not a good citation. Um, you also have to do this oral presentation, two to three minutes long, and uh, you can uh, submit it um, via Canvas. Use of a visual aid, such as PowerPoint slides or graphs, is strongly recommended, okay? Because it's really hard to communicate uh, on video without the use of any kind of visual aid. So try to have something. Now you can use your camera, your phone, or you can go to Zoom and you use your webcam to record your presentation. Okay, and it doesn't have to be perfect. I want you to know this. Um, if uh, in the middle of uh, your presentation, your, uh, your dog barks or somebody in your family just interrupts or something, that's okay, right? Uh, do not spend a lot of time on this recording. All I want to see is you doing the presentation as if you are presenting to the class uh, face to face, all right? Um, if you have no video recording device, no camera phone, no camcorder, no webcam or anything, then please contact me and I'll try to make a special arrangement, uh, either over Zoom or maybe over the phone if we have to, okay? Now, here's something very important. The one piece of advice I would give you about this course project is to start early, all right? Uh, it's not something you can do overnight or over two nights. The first step, is again to contact me with your topic and your plan. See, I keep a, uh, a list of who gets what topic approved. If you do change your mind and, and uh, try to do something else, then let me know that again, every topic you do must be approved, okay? Uh, don't wait until the last minute. If you don't know what to do, then I will give you uh, some guidance and some suggestions. All right, the project is due uh, on the date specified in Canvas. So look at your Canvas shell and you will see when uh, the project is due. The um, oral presentation and your essay are due at the same time. All right, so now let's take a look at the uh, three options. Now, option number one, this is the sort of a standard one, uh, database study on the news or magazine or newspaper or social media. You know, here you hear lots of stories, right? Um, lots of claims, like this kind of food is good for you, or this kind of a habit will make you uh, allow you to live longer, or uh, a certain you know uh, medication is better for you. Some kind of a vaccine may or may not be good for you. All kinds of data uh, and claims. And so, what I want you to do, if you choose option one, is to find any kind of claim or study um, in the media. Uh, it could, be, of course, it could be um, on the internet and uh, ask these uh, critical questions like identify the type of study. Was that an experiment or observational? Um, what was the population um, about which the claim um, is, um, uh, uh, the author is trying to make a claim? Uh, what is the sample? What is the sampling method? Uh, was a placebo used? Was there is, is there any potential bias you see or a val uh, or a, a va uh, logical fallacies? Um, did they use or misuse statistics? Um, what kind of things are they trying to claim? Is that a valid conclusion? These are the critical questions you should ask every time you read a statistical or a quantitative study. Right? The focus should be analyzing the reliability critically from a statistical and logical standpoint. Okay, uh, so remember what you uh, learned in chapter one, logic, and chapter five, statistics. Um, some of these um, options could include and, and not limited to these. Um, people have, some students have done recreational use of marijuana, uh, danger of vaping, that's been a pretty hot topic, no pun intended. Uh, COVID-19, of course, is a very uh, timely and hot topic these days. Uh, gun control and gun violence, uh, vaccine for children. And by the way, this is not a, 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 a opportunity for you to claim your platform, okay? In other words, you may feel strong, uh, strongly for or against gun violence, right? And you're not giving a three minute talk um, on your stand, okay? This is what, uh, what you do with a statistical analysis done by somebody else. And by the way, 
when you read a claim, let's say on the newspaper, you know, you have an online newspaper and there's, let's say, a story about um, how, uh, you know, having a pet will keep you healthy or something. Usually what they do is they refer you to the original paper or study. So I would encourage you to click on that link and see what the original study was claiming, because that's where you can, you know, you can focus, um, you know, on all these questions. Uh, so vaccination was another thing, safety of football. Is it safe to play football? Is it safe to play uh, a soccer goalkeeper, goalie, uh, if the uh, turf is artificial? That's, uh, you know, sort of a controversial question. Uh, questions about police brutality, violence about against police officers or violence by police officers, college tuition, movie industry. So there are all kinds of claims um, that you can read about. All right. I mean, this is something that you, you know, we do all the time. And so I want you to learn to, um, to critically read studies. And that's what this is. Now, the um, rubric for option one is here. Uh, the third, 35 points are for the essay and um, the 15 points are given for the um, presentation. All right, option two is another one. Um, another option, and this is a mathematical, any mathematical topic uh, con uh, contained in this book, as well as some creative topic or a piece of art uh, related to mathematics, okay, using, uh, including topics of art, music, history, government, pol uh, politics, finance, media, sociology, uh, and this is a very wide uh, range of topics. Um, and for instance, topics may be gerrymandering or electoral college in politics, fractals, uh, animation, computer graphics, musical scales, chords, you know, maybe uh, some piece of music that has the uh, Fibonacci sequence or golden ratio or something. And then I'd like to emphasize if you don't want to do search on the internet, um, chapter nine contains a lots of interesting topics, four color, th the four color theorem, uh, very famous theorem, uh, in, in infinities, the different levels of infinity. Did you know there are different levels of infinity? That's a good philosophical question. Uh, there is a mathematical approach to answer that question. I know the answer to that question. I, I wrote section 9.2, by the way. Um, and then seven bridges of Kennisburg, another well-known problem uh, from the history of mathematics. Russell's paradox may be driving you crazy. Non-Euclidean geometry. So all of these topics, okay, in chapter nine are under option two. And uh, these are really good topics. I'm hoping that uh, many students will uh, do these studies. And by the way, just because somebody else is doing it does not mean you can't, okay? I mean, I have over hundred students and uh, I have no problem if two or three people uh, end up doing the same kind of problems. All right, uh, especially, you know, because this is a, an online project. All right, the tentative uh, uh, grading rubric for option two is slightly different from those of option one. And so take a look at this. Uh, one thing I should emphasize here for option two is that the essay contains enough and accurate mathematical content, okay? So in other words, if you wanna talk about a uh, you know, piece of music that may have something to do with the Fibonacci numbers, you can't just play the music and, and that's it, right? You have to talk about the mathematical content in the, uh, the, the work or whatever, right? So look at this, look over this and see if, you, if this is the option you want to choose. And finally, option three, uh, biographical sketch or study on the life of a mathematician. Find a mathematician and write about his or her background, life accomplish, accompli accomplishments, and also human elements too. And you can also talk about, you know, how you feel about that person's life, and that's okay too. Um, what makes them interesting, for instance. All right, so you have all kinds of uh, people here listed. They don't have to be from among these people. Um, these first three are from the ancient Greece. Uh, Cardano is from the uh, Middle Ages to the Renaissance period. Um, sort of a crazy dude. I call him a jerk because he seems to be one of those. Um, Gauss was called the Prince of Mathematicians, probably the most accomplished and most important of all mathematicians in history, uh, in modern history. Uh, Russell, interestingly enough, is a mathematician, but he got the Nobel Prize in Literature, probably the only one. If you like the uh, film Beautiful Mind, you may want to do one on the, on the main character of that movie, John Nash. Um, Euler, of course, is a prolific and um, a great mathematician who became blind. 
Abel, who uh, died young, uh, great but tragic life. Galois, probably even more tragic. Uh, this is a uh, young Frenchman who died in a duel because of some love triangle. See, I mean, these people are math people, but they were people, humans, right? So there are very much of a, the human elements in the lives of these people. Uh, Gerdel is another guy who was a good friend of Albert Einstein, immigrated to the US, and he died also in rather tragic way. Anyway, so there are there, there are each of these is a people. And so uh, just maybe you can look at a few that you may be interested in, and you can write about these people as well. Uh, for option three, uh, again, the um, grading is slightly different, the rubric is different. And uh, for uh, especially, here is the difference, the paper contains both the human aspect and the mathematical achievement associated with this mathematician. That is a big portion, it's worth 20 points. Okay, so that's, you know, uh, those are the things that I can uh, share from this, uh, this item on the module. Now let's go back and uh, uh, let me just uh, show you what is um, um, some of the examples Right, from, uh, the, from the past. So to do that, uh, where do you go? Well, you go back to the home page. I, I could have just forwarded to the next one. Um, but under the course project, which is not here, okay, uh, right here in the uh, course project, what were you? Yeah, right here, uh, the project sample. All right, so in the project samples, you will see some of the things that other students have done in the past. And you see some of these are PDF files. Uh, some of them are uh, document, Word documents. These, these are just essays. And then some of them are PowerPoint, okay? And so you can see all kinds of topics from Hollywood diversity to a poem with the Fibonacci numbers, uh, alkaline water, uh, airborne, are they actually effective? Um, how about gun control or home runs or juiced baseballs, you know? And so these are some of the interesting topics. And um, you know, these are what we would consider to be rather decent works by students in the past. So take a look at those as well. Okay, so if you have any questions about the project, and if you just really don't know uh, what to do, just contact me and I'll try to, you know, help you out and just ask yourself first, what are you interested in? You know, what am I interested in? Uh, what do I want to do work on? And if you have done some interesting topic for other classes, uh, you, it's okay to reuse them, except uh, I want you to um, to tailor your project to the mathematical, you know, project. In other words, it has to, I mean, your project for this course has to have a uh, good mathematical content or good statistical content. So you will probably have to go back and, you know, modify some of your slides or, um, you know, parts of the presentation. But, uh, you know, if, if that, that works, that would be okay as well. All right. So uh, let me know what you're interested in and I'll start making a list of what topics are going to be done by whom. And uh, I look forward to seeing your project. All right, take care, bye.